June the 25th, 2021. As you're looking at current information as of 2.21 p.m. Central Time today, and uh, this is uh, the National Weather Service, and this is the national map. In the center of the country, in the light pink areas, you've got severe thunderstorm watches. In the orange areas, you have severe thunderstorm warnings. And this time of the year in the heat, make sure you keep an eye on this because of possible pop-up tornadoes and hailstorms or high winds. So in that area, you're looking at from Oklahoma up through Kansas, and this is going to move into Missouri and move northeast. Here is the major problem, though, guys, and this could be uh, devastating and deadly, and that is the northeast. This area in the bright pink is called excessive heat warnings, not watches. And notice on the eastern edge here, you have heat advisories. Also, you've got ex excessive heat watch areas through California into Nevada, although very close to the edges of uh, Phoenix, excuse me, Arizona, guys, but in that Phoenix area, and you've been under excessive heat watches and warnings just about uh, most of the summer. But up here, this is something that's uh, never happened before, not like this. Records could be broken. And some of the places that have an average temperature because of the breeze that's coming off the Pacific Ocean of 80 degrees could see 110, 113 degrees, 45 degrees above normal in some places. People aren't uh, used to this. Even in the south, guys, that's hot. Um, and uh, ex now we do have a little more humidity than you guys do, but uh, you're not used to it. And even here, it will kill you. And that's what they're talking about, is it could become deadly. And what is happening is there's a front that's spinning offshore of uh, the Washington, Oregon area here. And it's turning counterclockwise, or excuse me, clockwise. And it's going to move in, and it's going to move like this, guys, and move back out offshore. When that happens, all through this area, that normal breeze that you get off the Pacific Ocean that keeps you cool is going to be blocked. They're saying maybe right on the shoreline, you may see a little of that breeze, but most of it's going to be blown back offshore, and uh, these temperatures are going to break records for all-time records. So if you're not prepared for if you don't have extra water, you're going to be in trouble. Not only that, they are comparing this possibility of power outages to the texas mississippi louisiana ice storm other states oklahoma were involved but that ice storm that shut power down here for several days and in texas was devastating and they're talking about that could be one of the effects power outages plus the heat and a lot of places there don't have the same type of the as much air conditioning as a lot of the rest of the united states does because they don't need it uh, but, unfortunately, that's changing right now. Our shields are very weak and thin. All of this UV radiation is uh, penetrating uh, into the ground levels because of that. We're seeing the volcanoes, seeing crops um, dry up. We're seeing the drought throughout the West. And uh, that's going to be devastating for crops. And by next year, some of the reservoirs that are going to be able to get a little water out this this year are really going to be in trouble. Now, let's look at some of the weekend uh, records that are going to be broke, guys. This is, again, starting today, really, because uh, your Portland mayor there started opening cooling centers today. They're going to be opened uh, through that Portland area and Multnomah County, and they're expected to stay open at least through Monday, June 28th, and it should be getting, uh, start to become a little cooler because that front that's blowing offshore it's going to move east and let some of that uh, Pacific air come in and then cool you guys back off. you got to survive till then. But Saturday, the high record is one, the record high is 113, and it's going to tie that in Redding, California. Sunday, the record high is 109, but it's going to be 111. Yakima, Washington, the record 104. Saturday, 108. Saturday, Sunday's record will be one is 108, and that could break it by one degree. And you can see the difference between California and Washington there. Medford, Oregon, your record is 107, so it's going to tempt that at 105. 
And down here, guys, when they say 105, you can see several degrees above that uh, on, if the conditions are right. But then in Medford, Oregon, the record on Sunday is 104. That's going to be broken by 8 degrees. That's strong. Uh, Portland, Oregon, the record is 102. It will be broken by 4 degrees up to 106. The record on Sunday was 98, 113. 15 degrees difference. Spokane, Washington, it's going to tie the record of 100 degrees on Saturday. But on Sunday, it's going to break the 102 record, uh, and it will go up to 104 degrees. Kamloops, British Columbia, records 101 Saturday. 102 is what their projected uh, high is there. Sunday, uh, the record's 101. 107 is going to be the projected high. Seattle, Washington, your record's 90. You're going to hit 97. Now, if you don't have, um, I've got a weather station, just a small one that, have the outside uh, system that gives you temperature, heat index, real feel, rain amount, or, you know, whether it's cold or hot, whatever it is. But um, the heat in our temperature here, for instance, 87 degrees. The humidity is 79, and that puts a heat index at 102. Now you, I'm not saying um, you're going to have that kind of humidity, but because it is going to be a dry, warm front, pay attention to that. Uh, maybe you want to uh, have that added heat index. Maybe this will, these real temps will be the real temp. And because I've seen 108 here go very close to 120 in just in the last couple of years in uh, the middle of the summer. But uh, they're saying all the way down Interstate 5 Wednesday that, again, the cooling centers will be open. Now let's look at the current satellite images over the western half of the U.S., Notice these light clouds, very little moisture in them at all, but they're moving offshore. And this thing is spinning above this particular satellite image and spinning down and going back offshore. That is the problem. So in Oregon and Washington, you're probably already seeing the temperatures rise. That's why in uh, the Portland area, you're going to have these heat uh, cooling centers set up. So take advantage of those. If you've never dealt with this, it can be devastating. A heat stroke is nothing to play with. It can affect you for the rest of your life, and it can kill you. You're going to have to stay hydrated. You're going to have to stay cool, uh, stay in the shade, whatever you have to do. Again, remember this. They have said that except right on the edge of the coastlines, that it's going to be really unbearable. So it may be a good beach day, even though there it may be hotter than usual, but if that's so, that may be a good plan for this next few days, guys. We're watching it. You watch it. The tropics seem to be coming down some. The storm in the Atlantic is down to about a 10% chance. Now, over in the Pacific, off the Mexican coast, you've got a tropical storm that's about to become a hurricane and move up the uh, coast, up the west coast. Now, it's if it, it looks like it's going to stay offshore, but it may throw a little bit of moisture up into Southern California, maybe Arizona. We'll have to keep an eye on that, and that would be before it made that turn out towards Hawaii. But it's not expected to become a major hurricane at this point, but it is uh, expected to get to at least to a Cat 1, so we'll see. But again, all of this moving offshore, guys, is going to be killer weather for you folks in that area. We're watching it. You watch it. I'm going to keep you updated, but subscribe below so you'll get the updates heads up be safe